Welcome back guys to some more F1 driver career mode on F1 2021 with Aston Martin. We're heading to the Brazilian Grand Prix, fourth to last Grand Prix, so we're near the end of the season. We're doing well. Let's see how we finish off the season and hopefully some more points here in Brazil. Hold up though, before we continue, just want to make sure you guys are subscribed. The road to a thousand subscribers is on. We're going to try and beat the Social Blade predictions. Social Blade says we'll hit the thousand subscriber by May 20th. Can we beat that record, please? I know we can. We've hit every single milestone out of the park so far. So please be sure to be subscribed by pressing the red subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell as well so you don't miss out on any future videos on this channel. Thank you guys so much for your support. Brazil time. We had a minor ERS fault last time out, just like a quick durability shocker, so to say. We're third from the bottom, which is not a good sign, but hopefully we can get a couple items through before the Brazilian Grand Prix. I think it is time that we really start pressing for uh, rushed upgrades. Also, just a quick notice as well that the durability department is hit with regulation changes. Not too big of an issue right now. Six parts at risk, so... It's not too bad. In the meantime, the rear wing end plate seem to be the only one available to us uh, that we can really bring in before the Australian Grand Prix next time. There are a couple elements coming through before the Australian Grand Prix, I think. Let's take a quick look. So these will come in just before the Australian Grand Prix. Two majors and a minor, so we should have some good performance boost coming up but without further ado it's time for the brazilian grand prix let's go to interlagos see how well we do here this track is actually quite decent for us so we'll see if we can stay competitive let's go to brazil Qualifying time here at the Brazilian Grand Prix. Good runs overall during the practice sessions. Worn engine components did slow us down a bit. All our components are approximately 50% worn for practice. So we weren't quite as fast as the other cars. But the positive thing is that we are faster than Lance Stroll. He struggled a bit in the practice sessions, especially in practice two. Despite being on the same soft compound tires, we beat him by a couple tenths. So we are indeed faster than our teammate, which is a good sign. I don't know if we'll be faster than him during qualifying. It seems like qualifying, the AI is buffed quite significantly. So we'll see how that hap how we fare against that buffed AI here. And overall, I think the car is well balanced. I had a good light uh, aerodynamic car, well balanced car, and I think we are running medium wings, so around nine seven wings or nine six wings something like that uh so we should be in with a chance to stay competitive against the other drivers here uh yeah so without further ado let's get going here i think it is time to officially do our laps here um i'm excited for this one let's see what positions we get for the brazilian grand prix okay Definitely losing a lot of time in the middle sector. I am four tenths slower after the middle sector. We gotta patch that up somehow. Only P19. Improved by a couple tenths here. But I'm still very slow in sector two. Not quite sure how I can improve my pace around there. Let's see our tire temps. Maybe I can control them. Yeah, already overheating as soon as I make that turn. Let's see if I can get a cool down lap in real quick. Let's see, moment of truth, one tense. 1.5 tenths improved crossing the line Oof, it's gonna be an interesting time doesn't look like we made the cutoff Alter both us with a 1048 quite rapid around here Lance Stroll in p16 myself in p18 Schumacher Latifi and Mazepin are the only ones who don't qualify either both Aston Martins out should I take a grip penalty today Maybe fresh engine components could do us nicely at the Brazilian Grand Prix, a track that requires a lot of pace. We'll see. I'll consider it. Let's see where we start on race day then. 
Welcome along then to the place where heroes and history are made. It's where the 2008 title was decided in the final corner. And it's the place, a year later, that Jensen Button stormed through from 14th on the grid to claim his one and only Drivers' Championship. It's into Lagos, and it's time for the Brazilian Grand Prix. It's an unusual anti-clockwise race here at Interlagos, where the Sao Paulo locals are packed into the grandstands at each of the 15 corners around this classic 2.7 mile circuit. Two very fast sections bookend the famous and highly technical sector two, where getting a good run out of Jun Sao into one of the two DRS zones will be the key to any overtaking prospects today. It's time to see how our drivers are stacking up after yesterday's exciting qualifying session. Young superstar Max Verstappen starts from pole position, edging out Lando Norris, who'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Ricardo Gasly, Charles Leclerc, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty, and Bottas. Raikkonen, Fernando Alonso, they've taken a grid penalty. Stroll and Esteban Ocon, Sonoda, the rookie, Nicholas Latifi and Sainz, Giovinazzi, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty, Mick Schumacher, Nikita Mazepin and Lewis Hamilton, Perez and George Russell ends our grid lineup. Which of these talented drivers will come out on top today? interesting positions for various teams right now grid penalties here and there p12 for us though Lance Stroll in p9 i believe so let's take a look here or p10 uh toggler personalized strategy i uh, don't have to start on the softs let's go on the mediums it's a bit faster i like that uh we're dropping our fuel just under yeah that will be due let's go racing Time to race around Interlagos. Brazilian Grand Prix time. 36 laps around here. No engine penalties for us, by the way. Lights out. Why is there so much wheel spin off the line? I'm the only one with wheel spin. Bloody hell. Max concentration. AI is going to be a little idiotic, as you can tell from my my team series as well we're good what he hit me man he hit me I gave him space or as much space I can give him because there's another car on my outside let's go the Alpines and the Haas going at it car feels a little different than uh, qualifying. It's a wi weird. Nothing changed on the car, by the way. Made no changes at all, and I'm feeling more vibrations in the car. And a lot more wheel spin here and there. Why? That's a bit weird. Shouldn't it be identical? Maybe that's attributing to the weirdness I'm experiencing in my My Team series and here sometimes. Oh god, okay, Giovinazzi's out by the way. Signs was causing all sorts of problems on my outside. Dang it, we lost DRS. What is up with my turning? Okay, I'm bumping up my wing a little bit, man. Car feels very different than when it, what it was in qualifying. There goes Sonoda. It's fine because I'm going to get DRS here. There's been an incident on track, but officials aren't looking to push for a safety There we go. Got a little DRS. Oh god, I didn't notice someone. Oh god. Serves you right, by the way. Okay, Serves yeah. you right, signs. All the number of times you've squeezed me out of turns. Brazil just doesn't give space. 
The AI doesn't give space in Brazil. Yellow flag. Seems like there's a Williams out or a Red Bull. Now it's just a slip from a Red Bull. The car in front is 2.7 seconds. Oh god, Hamilton's behind me. I am very slow around here apparently. Let's see if I can have the pace on the softs later on. In lap 20 I'm going in for the softs. Let's see if I have that. I have the pace. The A I have right now when I'm on the softs. Not much I can do against Hamilton here, surely. Okay, opting to go around the outside. Interesting choice from Hamilton. Making my defense a lot easier, to be honest. What? You gotta be kidding me. Alright, Hamilton pushes his way in. He's by. He's by. Jesus Christ. Can't speak English. Oh, there's someone on my inside. Pushed me wide. God dang it. Okay, no more warnings, mate. The AI just doesn't know how to give space. They're not smart around here. They're like old people trying to get through a line at Costco or something. Jesus Christ. Old people just shoving you around. You know what? Next time, I'm just going to shove them into the wall. It's their fault anyway. It'll make for a good video as well. I'm going to shove these AI aside. Because they're not giving me any space. Deserves, deserves to be in the wall if that's the case. Got to erase fair, you know? Alright, people are pitting now. Going on to the hard tires. Interesting choice. I must say. I wouldn't opt for them, but sure. Ah, uh, we're gonna lose that to a George Russell who's on the inside. Around the outside. Oh, we're going side by side here. It's dangerous. Oh, yes. Well defended. Alright, everyone's in now. They're all in. Into the pits. See how much faster I can be than everyone else. I'm going to be on the softs for the final stint, so I think we're in for a good redemption drive here. But it very much depends on everyone else's pace as well as engine. My engines are a little worn. Components, that is. And I didn't break there. I couldn't break. Why? Okay, brakes are okay, but why didn't, why didn't the car break there, man? You see some bizarre circumstances happening on race day here. It happened at China as well in my team. Is the game breaking already? It's only February, mate. Game should be breaking in May or June. When F1 2022 is ready to come out. Not sure why it's already breaking. Okay, Alonso's through. Fresher tires. Leave the space, bro. I'm right next to you, mate. Maybe a little rough there. I don't care. They've played rough with me. I'm playing rough too. Screw you guys. Box this lap. Okay, we can take you this lap. All right, finally going in for softs now. Let's go. Bloody hell! Finally getting rid of these tires. Jesus Christ. Alright, who's behind me? Alcon is coming in as well. Alright, let's see. Oh, I need a front wing change, really? Go, go now. Okay. Still ahead of Alcon. That was an unsafe release. Give him a penalty, mate. Oh, I'm last. Bloody hell. Look after these tires now. We want to finish the race on this compound. What is going on with the tires? They feel like they're overheating. So much... So much uh, slippage here and there. Yellow flag. Yellow flag. Someone's retiring. Green flag. Ok, 
Okay, never mind. Let's see how many positions we can climb. Got a great run out here. DRS on Latifi. Oh, there's a move. I'm not getting involved. Contact between Mazepin and Latifi. Got DRS here. Ooh, this does not look like... Okay, double move done. Safe. Nice. Let's get a little clear now. Oh, I'm within DRS range of signs. Ooh, tasty, tasty, tasty. Raikkonen's in, apparently. Okay, that's another position gained, but let's try and push on sign. Another DRS? Yes. Let's use signs as our DRS provider for a couple moments and then maybe we can slingshot our way to Russell ahead. Driver in front. Signs ahead. Less than a second separate you. They're on old mediums. Their tires are six laps old. The car ahead has damaged the front wing, but it seems fairly minor. The time last lap was a one minute ten point eight. Oh that's why he's slow. Two seconds a lap. That's why he's slow. He has front wing damage. That's fine. Let's abuse it. DRS. See you later, son. Great maneuver. You made it look easy. That was easy. Let's try and catch Russell before these tires die down. Maybe even Leclerc, but I highly doubt it. Alright, here we go. DRS on Russell. Nice. Not quite sure if I can overtake him here, but I definitely close the gap. Probably in the next DRS straight. Here we go. This is the spot for the overtake. See you later, Russell. Thank you very much. Hamilton is 6 seconds up the road and Schumacher is 6.5. Not quite sure if I can make that gap. But certainly we'll try. Whoa. Last lap coming up. We've caught up to Schumacher for P12. Not quite sure if we can overtake him. Let's see. He's going to dump ERS now. Last lap of the Grand Prix, let's go. Final lap of the race. Mission is to catch Schumacher, let's go. Oh boy, this is tense, we are very close to him. Come on, I think the soft still have some life in them. Oh my, it's Alonso and Schumacher right in front of me. I don't think I have the pace, do I? No, I don't. Darn it. So close. P13 though. Good finish to the Grand Prix. I was so close to getting P11 even maybe. But I'll take that. Difficult week. Okay, pick up rubber and bring it home. So as they climb out of the car, the Red Bull team are ready and waiting to celebrate a thoroughly well-deserved win. And talk to me, what do you think it was that sealed the win for them? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. Red Bull are our winners today after showcasing some incredible driving. There's been a huge push from them lately to stay competitive with the other teams, and they're certainly proving themselves.
Oh, that was a stressful Grand Prix, not gonna lie. It seems like Verstappen wanted Ricardo in second and Bottas in third. Yeah, the AI just didn't give me space sometimes and I struggled for pace around this circuit. So it is what it is. Aston Martin as well. So we'll see how we do next time. Well, this is how it looks at the end of the Brazilian Grand Prix. Verstappen, Ricardo and Bottas in the top three. Bottas, of course, with the fastest lap as well. Gasly, Norris, Perez, Sonoda, Leclerc, Hamilton and Stroll rounded the top 10 points finishers. Alonso, Schumacher, myself, Ocon, Russell, Sainz, Raikkonen, Latifi and Mazepin rounded the finishers with Giovinazzi being the only car that didn't make it to the finish line. P6 for a still one point gap between Lando, Norris and myself. Daniel Ricciardo up ahead by 25 points so i guess p5 is out of reach unless we do pull off a miraculous win in the uh, australian or maybe saudi arabian or abu dhabi grand prix you never know uh, Lance Stroll is down there in p14 with 25 points quite a discrepancy between myself and him uh off of terry overtake ferrari we are losing grip with the four runners 18 point gap to ferrari and uh, what is that to uh, um, 18 gap 18 point gap between Ferrari and us as well as a 25 point gap between Alfa Terry and Aston Martin so we'll see if we can keep the push up uh, P4 is still within reach technically so we'll see as if as a team we can get that but it looks like a P6 finish is in the books for us. Well, what can I say? We tried our best here at the Brazilian Grand Prix, but we just didn't find the pace against the AI, against the others. They were quite aggressive around here, not giving us much space to work with, squeezing us in and out here and there on turns. And yeah, I just don't know what to do about that. Uh, I played rough against them afterwards because of that roughness from the start. I just... Yeah, I grew frustrated with them, so I decided to, you know what, if they're not going to give me space, I'm not going to play nice, I'm not going to give space either, and that is why I made some of those turning calls, but other than that, with those discrepancies and with those uh, difficulties, we did manage to pull off a P13 push at the final lap, P yeah, P13, um, and yeah, I think we did well on the mediums, managed well, and then the softs were a godsend, they were much better tired to be on for the end of the Grand Prix. Sadly, we just couldn't find the pace in the final moments to overtake Schumacher and Alonso. Alonso was almost ahead of us, just ahead of us. And yeah, we just couldn't get the double overtake done on the final lap. That's a bit of a shame, but it is what it is. Car performance wise, we are doing well with what we've got. But anyway, that is it for the Brazilian Grand Prix. We're heading to Australia next time. That's going to be a very difficult circuit because we do struggle to find pace around there. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button. Subscribe using the red button down below. Hit the notification bell as well so you're notified as soon as I upload next. More F1 content will be going up on the regular and our push for 600 subscribers is still on. So please do help us out by subscribing down below. Thank you guys so much for your support and hopefully you're doing well. Stay safe, stay healthy. And until next time, take care of yourselves. See you guys in the next Grand Prix.